am very excited to share with you this information here i will explain you the vedic way of cooking today we use different stoves basically we use lpg gas stove which is generally available in most of the houses apart from that we use electrical stoves uh, we also use uh, uh, micro ovens which uh, and different kind of uh, cookers electrical cookers we also use induction stoves all these stoves actually fast and our cooking process the cooking process is fast in this kinds of stoves generally when you speak the fast cooking destroys the nutritional value of the food today i'm going to share with you is vedic way of cooking so it 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 uh, in this way of cooking in the vedic way of cooking it doesn't destroy the nutritional value of the food i'll be showing you the vedic stove which which i use for cooking so uh, i'm very i'm very thankful that one of my one of my friend mr nina kidwani has introduced this stove to me and i'm very excited now to share this with you stove that use vegetable oil for cooking okay so this is the stove it has a base base and the body of the stove is made from ceramic that is clay ceramic are made from clay so this is the base of the stove okay so on this base the body sits okay the body is also made from ceramic and uh, i'll show you this how this looks okay so this is given a shape cylindrical shape given a cylindrical shape and this body sits on this base okay and this is a bowl that that you can uh, use to store any kind of oil as a fuel it has this stand and wicks wicks are cotton threads which are used uh, as a burning aid this wick sits on the stand this stand is is having uh, capacity to hold nine wicks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine wicks so this wick sits on this stand i'll show you for one of the wick you can just insert this wick inside the stand okay like this and uh, like this you have to insert all the nine wicks and keep this inside the bowl and this bowl goes inside this body like this okay i'll show you in detail i'll show you how how to make this work but before that this this way i want to tell you the advantages of this stove okay see this stove has nine wicks there will be nine little flames and the flame is not too intense the the problem with other stoves lpg stove or you can say you can say kerosene stove is the flame is too intense and that burns the nutrients in the food so the fl flame over here is not too intense and we have the food taste far more superior because it has more nutrition nutrition and it is eco friendly and sustainable <coughs> because it uses vegetable oil for cooking but if you are using some other kind of wood electricity or lpg you are actually mm, destroying the natural resources of the earth it is use vegetable oil so this is definitely eco friendly and sustainable and this is a low cost option because it consumes 3 rupees of oil vegetable oil per hour of cooking okay and if you are using if you are if you are putting the used oil because if uh, if you fry some items some pakoras or some puris 
and the oil that is there left out that oil you can keep it as a fuel so it is actually low cost oil and if you are using reused oil it is a zero cost option actually there are nine wicks given in this pack okay and in this so this nine wicks should be soaked in oil for a couple of hours now i'll soak this wicks in this oil and soak it for some time and we will come back to you after and the same oil can be used for as a fuel okay. now, now let this wix get soaked inside the oil for couple of hours and I'll come back to you okay so now the wicks are soaked uh, in the oil now you have to fit them inside this stand yeah so uh, like this you have to fit them there is a gap you can see a gap here so from this gap the wick goes in and sits inside the hole so i'll show you the second one from the side there is a gap and from this gap the wick should go in okay like this Now all the wicks are inside um, the stand, wick stand, and now as you can see the threads are coming down like this. Now this whole set is dipped inside and it sits like this. Okay. Now keep this whole thing inside uh, inside this body, and now we'll go inside the kitchen and light it up first point is you should uh, keep the oil levels full okay so these are 80 percent full oil level is still here and second point you have to consider is this uh, wick should not be uh, very high just uh, 1 mm or 2 mm above the surface is sufficient so if you can see these uh, wicks they are too high so if they are too high you can just pull them down okay like this if they are very high then carbon develops the light will have carbon in it you can see this one also is little high okay so now we will light this all this uh, uh, wicks so for lightning i uh, i don't i uh, you can take a bamboo stick like this Instead of uh, wasting a lot of uh, match boxes, I can put this bamboo stick inside this. Okay, and beside I have uh, LPG gas stove. So I'll start this LPG gas stove. stove. Okay, and I will uh, lit this. And uh, So instead of you turning, you can you turning around. You can make this ball turn around. Yeah, you can see the nine flames. Okay. And you can pull uh, if your flame is too high or too uh, above. You can pull it down like this. Okay, like this. If you pull the wicks down, the flame comes down. So like this, you should see 
that uh, the flame is optimal. Flame should not be high. If it is too high, it will develop carbon. Okay. So you can see the all the nine flames glowing. I will compare this nine flames with this LPG uh, gas flame. Okay. The LPG glass flame is blue in color and this is little orange or reddish in color. Okay. So this blue color flames are uh, blue color flame is too uh, powerful. This blue color flame you can find in welding shops. Okay, where you need to melt metals, you need to bend metals. Where you will find this blue color flame, which is very powerful and uh, not good for, not ideal for cooking. So this is ideal for cooking. Once the once all the flames lit properly equal size you can you can uh, place this top on this so you can place the top on on on, on the top of this body now you can place your vessel on this okay like this it is not necessary for the it is not necessary for the flame to touch the vessel and if it is the flame is little bit below the level of the vessel that is good ideal because if the flame touches the vessel it develops it stop developing carbon so now if you see uh, there will be no carbon which is developed you can show you okay there is no carbon so this many little practice couple of times for you if you use our vessels our ceramic cookwares it will uh, it will store the uh, heat inside and it will cook faster okay so once you once you finish with the cooking just move this vessel out and you can just blow the flames off like this uh, when you start with the next cooking or next day or uh, the next uh, 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 cooking so per se you have used this for one hour and now you blow this off and you again you want to start cooking in the evening or afterwards after some time so the good practice is uh, you have to remove this top okay now there will be carbon which is uh, developed on this wicks so the good practice is to remove this carbon off so you can find lots small small carbon which is already developed okay so it is good to remove this carbon off see okay you have to remove this carbon the hard carbon see this is the carbon which is developed so remove this off okay and you are ready with the next cooking so repeat this process uh, take the bamboo bamboo stick dip inside the oil lit this bamboo stick and lit all these flames and you are ready for the next cooking